Oh my god. Yeah, amazing video, amazing <gasps> visual. Shot in Paris, yep. France. Um, the production team. My, shout out to Blessing Uzi. She's a filmmaker and she was on the production team. Amazing. I love the visuals. Namoni. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> there's been a lot of problems with money in the industry. Yeah. Um, Dami Crane, on the other hand, uh, has just tweeted and said something about Namoni Kosam, so they should go and stream. <laughs> the video <laughs> yeah but um crazy visuals i love it clean has to be one of the best visuals of the year um probably one of the best david uh music videos, videos. yes i love I it agree. um angela kijo um caveman, caveman. amazing it i love was, it i love it it beautiful, was the beautiful. combination of voices for me like mm -hmm. first time i heard it when the caveman came in then angela mm -hmm. kijo I, I just fell in love and when I told some people that I mm -hmm. like the song, mm -hmm. a lot of them were saying, oh, it's because you're a woman, you like me. I said, no, it's, it's, just, it's good music. When you listen to good music that yeah. sounds different, yeah. you would love it. I mean, it's not the typical, you know, kind of sound that you mm -hmm. just stumble upon. It's very beautiful. And what I love the most about it, and I think has to be thumbs up to the set and the costume. Yep. The costumes were so beautiful, Lovely. so clean. It spells royalty. It oozes royalty. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't wait to see this video do numbers because it definitely deserves it. So if definitely. I'm going to talk about this video in one sentence, I'll call it timeless in a word. you call it timeless? Yes, because it's a timeless video. But I hope that this Namoni way cause the fight between the video and the Crane will end the fight too. Right. At the end of the all, Namoni. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, still on the entertainment news, money still causing fights. <laughs> Harry Song wants Casey to release his royalties. Mm. Nigerian musician Harry Song is back with calling out his former record label boss Casey of Five Star Music, and it is a recurring issue. Harry Song took to his social media accounts to enlist the assistance of Nigerians in his efforts to retrieve his royalties. In a post on his Instagram story, Harry Song stated that Casey has held on to 100% royalties of some of the records he released under the label. He wrote, and I quote, I'm here to beg you all to help me and follow me beg Kingsley Okonko, known as Casey, to refund my money and release my songs at least. He can take his percentage and give me what is rightfully mine. For more than seven years now, he's been the one collecting 100% of my royalties from Reggae Blues, Baba for the Girls, Samanque, Beta Pekin, Ofeshe, all my big songs. He collects 100% of all royalties. It's not fair. At least he can take his percentage and give me what is rightfully mine. I started this by begging. Now beg, I did beg him. I know he likes to bully. He's the power make. Help me begging. The songs are mine. He should at least give to me what is rightfully mine. May God not let us work and another man just be ripping our ad and sweat. In Jesus' name, amen. In an ex formerly known as Twitter post, all the screenshots of his Instagram story, Ari Song stated that he deserves what is rightfully his, while also begging Nigerians to join him in pleading with Casey, he wrote, and I quote, Y'all help me beg him, I deserve what is rightfully mine, it's not fair him collecting all my royalties 100%, not fair at all, don't insult him, please help me beg him. And of course, just so you know, Harry Song and Casey had a huge fallout in 2016 when the former left Five Star Music in a controversial manner. The Nigerian police even got involved at some point and picked up Harry Song following an invitation from the state's AIG of police. Wow. <sighs> Back to royalties. It's how it is help us beg him. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I mean, there's so much I want to say, but um, I'm friends with both. <laughs> Both Harry Song and Casey, so I don't know. I'm just in the middle of this. Um, the thing is, I mean, there, there's been a deal between you guys. You guys yep. signed a deal. There's mm -hmm. split sheets, is what they call split sheets. Yep. Producers have 50%. Um, standard uh, producers yeah. always take 50%. Mm -hmm. Record label takes their own percentage. Yeah, and then the artist the takes his own percentage. Sometimes you can pay off the producers mm -hmm. and then producers will probably take like 20, 30% and then they pay, get paid off. But at the end of the day, there's a split sheet. So if there is a split sheet, yep. it's only right that you take it to the court or your lawyer sends, um, sends them a letter. You yep. guys, you know, um, solve this amicably. So I don't know if all of these steps have been taken. If there was a split sheet before, that's why a lot of people, see, musicians should not only just, you know, be all about the music. Yep. They should also be about the business behind 
the music. Mm. You need to understand what you're doing. If not, there will always be issues like this where if you come out and say they won't rip me or they don't <laughs> rip me. Or, you know, so um, I wish I wish them well. I, we can't help you if oh. honestly nobody else can you know help you except yourself. So if you took these right steps then you can actually solve this issue. But if you didn't take these steps, yeah. then I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's almost a gun deal. So I feel like, apart from Nigerians pleading or begging on his behalf, mm -hmm. uh, it should just go the legal way if he has evidence, because in the court of law, evidence always rules. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just wish him the best, and we hope all of this is resolved pretty soon. Yeah, still on the entertainment news, ladies and gentlemen, Iyabojo slams Naira Mali with a counter suit. The legal drama between Nigerian artist Nigeria, Naira Mali and Nigerian actress Yabo Ojo has taken another turn as the actress has filed her own counsel suit. If you would recall, Naira Mali, through his lawyers, issued a letter demanding that Yabo apologizes for the remarks she made about him while demanding for justice for the late Mobad. The lawyers added that a failure to apologize will result in them suing her for 500 million Naira in damages. Reacting to the suits, Iyabo Ojo stated that they did not deliver any letter to her as she only saw it on social media. The lawyers representing Iyabo Ojo, the Maverick Fourth Legal, stated that they are ready to present witnesses to testify in court to back the allegations the actress made against Naira Mali. Iyabo Ojo, on the other hand, also demanded 1 billion Naira from Naira Mali for deliberately misleading the public that he served her the letter. She also claimed that the public letter from Naramali made her lose her income and standing in society. So what I can learn from, <laughs> what I have been learning from the entertainment scene in recent times is, if you're sure of yourself and you have evidence, mm -hmm. when someone sues you, you mm -hmm. count as to double the amount or even triple the amount. <laughs> because uh, when this happened sometime last week, when Naramali sued Yavaljo, a lot of people were saying, okay, where's this going? Where's this coming from? We're wondering what happened. And then Yavojo's daughter, Prissy, came out to give a whole speech on her Instagram story talking about <laughs> the, um, you have the guts, like you even have the F on tree and all of that. And a lot of people were saying she should just take a backseat on this one because it's her yeah. mother's fight. But now her mother has decided to step up. Her mother has been on holiday mm. with her boo, Polo, and we've been like, okay, she's turning a blind eye. But now... She came with a counter suit, <laughs> one billion naira. <laughs> hey, if you all this money for all this loss, if you put it to the economy, eh? <laughs> hey. no, so the thing is, um, it's it's a lot of drama, definitely. Yeah. We are enjoying the drama, of course, because right now it feels like dang dang dang, Holy Field <laughs> versus Mike Tyson. Wow. Um, <laughs> but um, she has every right to sue. But I mean, this whole money, 500 million, 1 billion, yep. oh, is going. So this money is going to keep increasing. My so guy. Naramali is going to bring his own suit again. Mm. But I mean, this is a lot of drama over because um, of the issues uh, that came after Mubat's um, death, yeah. with the Yabojo coming out to, you know, actively, you know, make sure that justice was m meted out. Yeah. Um, well, it was it was wrong for any. I mean, he's not proving guilty yet. Yep until he's proven guilty. So, I mean, he had every right to come out and say, you know what, I'm going to sue you yeah. because you defamed my name. But at the end of the day, she also has every right to say, come, you didn't send me any letter. Why put right. it on social media and all that stuff? So um, let's just wait and see <sighs> how this battle uh, pans out because it's definitely gearing up to be an interesting showdown. Hmm. And uh, if it ends up going to court, <laughs> this will be the, I think, third court case that Naramali will have. Because the first one is the EFCC case, the second one is the invitation about Mobad's death, mm. and now this will be the third one if it goes to court. I mean, I mean, um, I even saw recently on uh, social media, still on Mobad's issue, um, even uh, um, the governor yeah. came out to say a few things as well. Yeah, so, about yeah, the corona. About yeah. the corona test. So it's still ongoing, yep. and we're hoping that at the end of the day, we get a limelight on what actually happened, and if anybody's guilty, let them pay for it because that was an innocent guy who had a lot um, of future ahead of him, and yeah. he was just cut down in his process. prime. Yeah. All right, since we're done talking about begging for royalties and mm -hmm. court cases, we'll go on this commercial break. And when we do get back, the entertainment news continues, guys. The Christmas is in the air. I can yep. perceive it. The chicken is frying. <sighs> 
Welcome ah. back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Still on the entertainment news, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour breaks record. American singer Taylor Swift's Eras Tour has broken the record for the highest grossing music tour in history. According to a live music trade publication, Poolstar, the tour reportedly raked in an estimated $1.04 billion in gross ticket sales. The publication reported that it is the first ever tour to smash the billion dollar milestone. The sky high numbers have topped all previous tours in ticket sales for 12 months from November 17, 2022 to November 15, 2023 pushing Beyonce's Renaissance tour to second place. Guinness World Records confirmed the new record on their website, stating that the Eras tour also became the first ever music tour to surpass $1 billion in revenue. It is estimated that Taylor Swift's tour has sold a whooping 4.35 million tickets from 60 shows, with merchandise sales raking up to $200 million during the yearly run. Those record-breaking numbers are expected to escalate as Polestar predicts that ticket sales from the next eligible box office year will once again hit $1 billion, taking the tour's total to $2 billion. The tour, which began in March 2023, is set to conclude in December 2024 after a total of 151 shows worldwide. If you would recall, Taylor Swift recently set a new Guinness World Record as the first musician to become a billionaire solely on music earnings. That is what in this part of the world we call doing. Like you know. Taylor Swift, our army is swift. It is. It is. Like, am, okay. It is amazing how she just she she just concentrates yep. on her fans, her mm -hmm. music, and she steadily, quietly just keeps smashing records, hitting records. Guinness World Record, like yep. that's that's how many in, in the space of how many months mm -hmm. she has smashed how many records, and then those numbers are incredible. Yes, they you are. know, um, kicking off Beyonce to second place now. I mean, she yeah, just Queen kicked B. off Queen B Renaissance tour, which was mm -hmm. massive, and this is billions, billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Amazing numbers right there, definitely. Yeah, and most times when you see celebrities, especially musicians on the uh, billionaires list or millionaires list is yeah. always for music and other things. Mm -hmm. But hers is solely music. And mm -hmm. it's just crazy how she has come this far. Mm -hmm. Because we've seen people who some things happen to them along the line and they yeah. get up. But yeah. She started again. Mm -hmm. She had that goal in mind and she yeah. had a focus and she went towards it. And she's still doing it silently even when people didn't believe in her. She believed in herself. And this is why they always say, always believe in yourself, no matter what people think about you. Mm. Because at the end of the day, that thing that sets you apart, that mm -hmm. thing that makes you different, might be the unique thing that people would end up loving. Did, um, did Kanye West ever get to apologize to her? Hmm, I don't know. I, I think he still owes her yeah. apology. But yeah, I mean, congratulations to her. Uh, massive numbers right there. And I'm sure she's still going to smash more numbers in 2024. Hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all with the entertainment news. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Social View, where we're going to delve into the world of social media, which is loaded with every kind of wit and nastiness you can imagine. Lady, are you ready? I am ready. I'm right, ready. We're ready. Let's see what social media has for us today. All right, in Cameroon, <laughs> he makes an appearance and he says, You asked me how is everything? I said, Fine. Now you're asking me how is work. Is work not part of everything? <laughs> Those people. So you know yourselves, how so, are you? So the thing is, yeah, how are you? Mm -hmm. How is work? I understand, but how is everything? It already means, how are you? How is work? How is... So if you want to put everything, why don't you just put, how are you, work, and everything? It oh, does go funny. straight to the post. Like, <laughs> ah, wahala. Next up, uh, yeah, we have uh, the Mem King himself here. He says, attachment isn't a joke. You feel physical pain when you miss that person. And he replies, Depends on who braid the hair, Sha. <laughs> so, when I first saw attachment isn't a joke, <laughs> I was about to say, uh-uh, who is talking about hair? <laughs> and then I saw the you feel physical pain, I'm like, okay, because in both ways, when you talk about attachment, like feelings, when you're attached to somebody, mm. you feel that pain, it'd be like mm. your chest, they cut. Mm. When, when you miss that person, it's like, like you went versus your family. Are you sure you're talking about family? Yes. No, we're not but talking then, about family. But then, attachment, yeah. when it comes to hair, which is the response, depending on who breaks the hair, when some people hold your skull with attachment, like, there's a physical pain you will feel, my brother. After they finish the hair, you go lose them. 
It's like both sides, you have experience on both sides. Because Cause I braid have... my hair and then, you know, when you have friends and family members no, that you're we used to. No, we know we're not talking about friends and, and family. Like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> All right, next one, it says, drink water, eat balanced meals, get your sleep, stay active, and remember to mind your business. Mm. Me on the other hand, it says, the last one, no be you go tell me what I go do. Yeah, do we not tell me if I should business. mind my business or not? <laughs> this sounds like a star blog ninja. As in. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the uh, next one. And uh, Mem King is here again, and he says, "I love 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. The world be so quiet." Then someone says, "Them know the on gym for your side now." Hmm, Actually, this is true. True. This is true because last night, for some reason, there was no light. Mm -hmm. Then there was gin. It was noisy. But there are some areas that some people are very considerate, and mm. once it's like 12 a.m., 1 a.m., they turn off their gen because they know people are trying to sleep. In it's this like, Nigeria? Yes, especially those gen, those uh, people with gen, they're like, go, 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 go. that's like a earthquake that when you hear the sign, so, your baby will wake up. Because of neighbors, people switch off their gen. That's because the neighbors have complained several times in the closed meeting. Yes. <laughs> I love to see it. Hmm. <laughs> All right. They're considerate too, trust me. They can be. In quotes, can be. Okay, we move on. And uh, Sabinos is here. He says, what are some signs that somebody has really low intelligence huh? And the reply is, donates money to buy gifts for BBS celebrities. We will not take this on behalf of BBS. <laughs> yeah. Ha. Wahala. Producer ha, ha. What do you think? What do you think? Well, all I can say is, uh, you know, when you need something <laughs> and you know that you can't afford that thing and then you're spending all your money mm. to buy things for people, mm. is wahala, mm. trust me, mm. is wahala. Mm. But uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just funny that that's the last, last one we can take. And then it shows that um, it's the intelligence level that people have. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as they've used stray bullets to eat uh, us BBM fans. Oh, and... that's true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh... I, I'm, I'm vexed. I'm angry. I'm not doing this show again. It's a wrap on social view. Up next is what are you watching? <laughs> we'll be right back. Amazing stuff happening in the Nigerian movie industry. Definitely. I mean, the three, well, it used to be two giants. Now, yeah. like, there are three of them. Yep. And they all have dropped movies in this ember period yep. and is massive there's a lot of options when you go to the movie to the cinema you can either watch messi aigbez or more or more yeah you can okay, watch Funka Kindele, Judah. Yeah, and you can watch tony abrams malaika, malaika. amazing ha. amazing amazing and already funky Kindele's movie is already smashing records yep over 122 always... million already made mm -hmm. um she's looking to break the one billion you know, uh, point. She wants to break that one billion uh, record. So definitely, I mean, they are putting in the work. Also, of this uh, movie, Emeka Ike, who has made a comeback to our screens, had an interview where he talked in depth about his uh, exchanged uh, wife, his last marriage, yeah. and how it affected him, how he lost everything, his school, He's, he said he was in America, and then by the time he came back, he came back to nothing. Yeah, and we also mm -hmm. saw another veteran Hollywood actor, Charles Okafor, make a comeback to... Yeah. So congratulations to everyone. We're really, really proud of you. You guys are making us proud to be Nigerians. And that's all we can take on the show today. Thank you guys for watching. You're the real MVPs, and uh, this show wouldn't have been perfect without you. But anyways, it's your lady, Catherine, a real hotness, and J-Paul, Mr. Flames.